What's up? Hello! Welcome back to another week and another video. I am so excited to show you this video because I, again, made over my room. This is probably the 30th time that I'm making over my specific space and that's because I'm so indecisive. I'm always moving things, adding things, just always doing something and the reason that we decided to swap rooms because this is Anthony's old room is because whenever I am getting ready to go out or just whenever I'm in there all of our three dogs go in there and they're either wrestling, playing or just you know doing whatever dogs do and in the other room that I was in it was so much smaller that there was really no space for all of us to be in there so we decided to swap and that's really it but I hope you enjoy it, I hope you like it. At the end of this video, I hope you subscribe, also like it, and then end up following me over on Instagram, just because I always post different stuff there than I do here on YouTube. So let's go ahead and get started. This is what the room currently looks like, and if you can recall, this was previously Anthony's room. We did a little swap room, and now I am left with this room. I've already moved all of my clothes in here. It's exactly the same layout as the other room, so I didn't even have to mess with any of this. I just took it out from the other room, put it in here, called it good. And for anyone asking about my clothing rack, yes, I still use it, and yes, it's still holding up. I am going to be painting this wall white simply because I do not get enough light in this room. I know it looks like it right now but as you can see the walls in this room are very rectangular so that only allows for limited lighting. I mean look at all this space down here. They could have made the window you know bigger and that would have been awesome but anyway I'm gonna go ahead and paint the wall and then we will move forward from there. And of course the color is going to be white. Finished painting the wall. I really wanted it to cover the green, so I did three coats, which I didn't need. Let me show you what it looks like because the way that the sun hits it, it makes some spots look darker and then some look a little bit streaky, but they're not. So let me just show you. In the camera, it looks really good, but can you see that corner over there? It just looks a little bit dark. It's just because of the way the light hits it. But what I'm going to do next is figure out the curtain situation. I am trying to spend zero money on this makeover as I always do. So I'm going to go around the house and find matching curtains to put up right here. I have about six of these curtains. I could take the others and make this one room have all of the same curtains so that I don't buy any and then hopefully I can use other curtains for the spots that I'm going to be stealing these from. I'm thinking about taking these curtains to the other room. This is our dining room, random room that gets used for nothing other than dogs playing in it. So I can take the curtains from here.
I'm on my way to HomeSense because I am on the hunt for the perfect vase. I want something that is a little bit more girthy at the bottom, but then has a narrower top because I want it to look very minimal, very simple. I don't want it to be too much. Even if I find the perfect vase, but in the wrong color, I can always upcycle it with a DIY that I did like a year or two years ago. So I'm hoping that I can find one for the right price because that way I will save some money and then I can just DIY it on my own. So hopefully I find something that I'll let you know when I get there. Sense, and I found exactly what I was looking for. I wanted something that was round and then had a little bit more of a tapered top and this is perfect with the exception of one thing. It's glass. I want something that's a little bit more ceramic so I'm gonna be DIYing it. I have a video on how to do this properly but I'm gonna show you really quickly. The best part about this is that it was only $17 dollars when I was in the store I found other ones that were kind of similar in shape and size but they were like 60 70 80 dollars and I just wasn't gonna do that so this is a great option if you are also like me and don't want to spend a lot of money on ceramic vases just DIY them yourself I will show you how to in just a second Maybe using this paint sample that I have here I honestly just bought it when they were having a random sale so I don't even know the color I mean obviously I can see it at the top but I don't know the color name so I'm just gonna be using this I'm also gonna use pure baking soda to mix it in with the paint I'm also gonna use this paintbrush and also this little bowl that I have here and if you want it thicker, you will add more baking powder or baking soda. I want it to be thicker, so I'm gonna be using a decent amount. Then I'm just gonna mix it all together. This is still a little bit runny, so I'm gonna add a little bit more just so that I can thicken it up. Now it's a lot thicker, so I'm just gonna go ahead and start painting. This I have shown you guys already. This is where I keep my makeup brushes, but I don't like that it's, it's see-through because when I have all of the brushes in here, it looks too cluttered. And then you add this other stuff and it's just too much visually. So I'm gonna try to spray paint this white as well as these two and then this lipstick organizer stand. I don't know, I just visually don't like to see clutter and hopefully spraying it doesn't mess it up. Then I'm also gonna spray paint this. This is where I keep all of my lip liners. I was too lazy to take out the beads, so I am just going to be spraying it. Regular flat white paint, spray paint, and we'll go from there. I got these little drawers from the dollar store and they're stackable. So if you have a dollar store in your town or city, I would suggest to go check them out. Honestly, they're very random. I could go months without seeing them and then I go in and then I see like 20 of them. But regardless, check your dollar store. wait for them to dry. Mm -hmm. 
Let me show you what the room looks like now that it's all finished. So here is the entrance door. And then if I look to this side, the closet is here. Then I have my shoes in the corner, this chair right here, some pompous grass, and then that DIY that we made. And then if I come over here, desk area. So this DIY I showed in another video on how I made over this IKEA Alex drawer. I still love the way it looks. This is how all the spray painted organizing little stations look like. As you can see, it blends right in with the wall and the table, which is exactly what I wanted because now it doesn't look so cluttered. And again, those were spray painted, so was that. Everything just looks so much cleaner and neater when it's the same color. And now I don't have all this clutter. This piece of art I actually DIY'd and I still love how it looks. It's very organic looking because there's really no rhyme or reason. It's just very textured. And I really wanted it to resemble clay or a sculpture-like vibe. And then this mirror that I got from HomeSense, it is super large and in charge. It's pretty tall, but in addition to being tall, it's very wide. I pan over here. This closet contains all of my clothing. Like, this is everything I owned. These I don't count so much because it's like gym, socks, underwear, bra, pajamas, just stuff that I have to have. But this up here is all of my clothing. All of my winter coats, jackets, shirts, long sleeves, like business stuff, knits, crew necks, jeans, more knit sweaters. And then we come over here. This little stool I got from Ikea. No, Ikea, Target. This I got from Ikea. This I got from TJ Maxx though. So those are all of my shoes right there. Oop. And I need to water that plant. And then this beautiful chair that I bought from Marshalls. Here is the DIY that I made. I love how this is more warm. It's a little bit more beigey. And then this guy right here definitely is more of a bone, coolish, neutral undertone. And then the pompous grass. So that is how everything turned out. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it for you to watch. And I just wanna say thank you for subscribing if you've already subscribed. If you haven't, please do so. And also give this video a like and follow me over on Instagram. And I just wanna make a couple of things clear in case you've been wondering. I know that there has been a lack of DIYs on my channel and that's not due to me not wanting to do them. It's more of, we're from Utah. We currently live in Maryland. I, we don't plan to stay in this house forever, permanently, or just for like a long time. We do plan on moving back home to Utah and I just thought it's a little pointless to keep making DIY videos for a place or a home that we're not gonna be in forever. But anyway, I hope you subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching it. Bye! Thank you.